today we're going to hack another one of these um, motion detectors or garden ornaments or whatever you want to call them that does actually say motion detector on it I croak if anyone crosses my path ribbit ribbit sound sounds like fun Okay, we have a frog as a motion detector in there, which will be a photo resistor of some sort. A little battery compartment and no on off switch. I love it. Anyway, pull that out. Great fun. Shut it up again for a while. Okay, it's uh, soft plastic. In fact, that fella comes out pretty easily. Damage the photocell, photoresistor. I'll just see if I can find something soft to push it out with. There's a brush. And there we go. Photoresistor. There's a speaker in the bottom there. Bit of circuitry. Battery compartment. Okay, what I'm going to do is see if we can make it into a vibrating bug. Uh, lacks originality now because I've done a few of these, but I just fancy doing one with one of these frogs. Right, if you've watched any of my vibrating bug videos before, you'll know that I tend to use these Oral B Pulsar toothbrushes because they've got a nice little vibrating motor inside so take the bottom off throw that away and just pull the motor unit out I think the battery's flat on that one somehow oh, I won't even bother trying Okay, well this is the motor we want, it's in the front here. To get it out, we just need to snip these wires or desolder them. If you can get your nippers into there. Right, that's that one off there. That one's there. And now we have our little vibrating motor. Now I'm going to modify this for a minute. Just put a couple of spikes on the end so I can probe around in the circuit board here and find out where I want to connect it to get the power to feed the motor. Okay, I've switched me little fan on that blows the fumes away when I use my soldering iron. Soldering iron's heating up. Just want to strip off a tiny little bit of wire or insulation off the end of here. Have to be very careful with these wires, they're not very strong at all. Okay. And these are just two, well, what you call them, metal rods, bits of wi um, thick wire. I'm going to solder them on to there and then I can use them to probe around on the circuit board to find out where I can get the power out of it. Alright, soldering iron's warmed up. Let's see if I can do this without knocking the camera. Just 
was tin the end of the wires. So I've got that connected up so I can now probe around. Probably better if I move it a bit closer to the camera, but I'll just demonstrate. If we stick that on there and that on there, we should get the motor running. Ah. Helps if we pull it. Shut up. See that's running me a little motor pretty well. Right, got my macro lens on, and with my little motor wired up onto these two spikes, I should be able to demonstrate. There's a bit of power there. One leg of the speaker. do now is hardwire or solder that to those two points and we should have a vibrating bug. Let's see if we can do this before the battery runs out on the camera. Off there, off there. do now is decide how we want the bug to look. Okay, waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up. All I've done is I've cut a little slot on the front there to mount the photoresistor or motion detector and I shall hot glue gun, hot glue the vibrating motor straight on the underside simply because that's the easiest place to put it and then I shall stick some legs on it for bugs. Just pull that out again. Yeah. Okay. There's my hot glue gun coming on. Not quite ready yet. Right, well I was waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up there. I've bent a couple of paper clips so that I can use them for legs. Okay, first a good dollop of hot glue there to mount the motor. Make sure it's clear of everything. Let it cool down a bit. Adjust the legs once it's all cooled down. Put 
that's the general idea. I'll let it cool down, I'll bend the legs up and we'll give it a try. Okay, let's see what happens now. He's not exactly leaping across the table, but at the same time it's enough to make somebody look round. Especially if we put it on a surface where it um, makes a noise. Not exactly jumping across the table, but uh, I think that works. change the position of the vibrating motor to get more effect out of it, but I think that will do.